Hi everyone. I'm here to talk about some of the key trends in the mortgage industry today. As we all know, 2019 is a great year for consumers looking to buy houses. From Feds cutting the interest rate to the rise in home prices finally stabilizing, it's a great time for consumers looking to buy their first homes or even refinance their existing mortgages. So let's look at what this trend means for the large banking institutions. About a decade ago, these banks controlled three out of every four mortgages that were originated in the United States. Fast forward to today, that number is cut down by half. The biggest change in this last 10 years has been the rise of non-banking financial institutions. You know, the Quicken Loans, the Loan Depots of the world, they are the ones who now control more than 50% of mortgages originated in the US. So from a bank's perspective, while they still control the high value mortgages, so, so a lion's share of that is still with them. But from a volume perspective, well, the trend is shifting towards the non-banks. And this is a concern that we get from the banks quite often. And especially when we look at the interest rate environment and the kind of interest rates that these banks and non-banks charge, there's not much to set them apart. The biggest reason why the consumers are flocking towards the non-banks is actually their pre-sales and post-sales consumer experience. And that's what keeps the banks worried. So the question that we get asked is, how do I as a bank change that tide and become more competitive with the non-banks? So we did some rigorous analysis at our end and we published the 2019 Mortgage Annual Report. In this report, we look at some of the key trends like, what are the key changes that the non-banks have brought to the customer experience, which the banks are not able to compete till date? How are the banks consolidating their volumes across different institutions through M&As, through divestitures, in order to make sure that they're competitive and they're also able to make margins back in the industry. And finally, we also look at what portions of our typical banks' operational and technology infrastructure is right for an overhaul in order to help them compete better with the non-banking institutions. In fact, one of the key learnings that we had this year that respite from the regulatory pressures is allowing the banks to invest more amount of money and invest and make investments in the broader technology infrastructure in overhauling the overall experience and hence driving the much needed transformation in the bank inking experience for their existing customers. So we hope this report is useful to any lenders who are looking to understand what their peers in the industry are doing and what are the areas of investment which they can now replicate to achieve similar success on the customer experience side and eventually compete with the non-banks better. Thank you.